All right, this is gonna be a quick video. If you just got your high power cycles electric bike and you need to unlimit the power of the system. So there's a few settings in the cycling list here, just using these two buttons to unlimit the power of your system from a 20 mile an hour, 750 watt system, all the way up to, in this case, a little bit over 8,000 watts. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is turn on the system. In this case, it is a key switch and I have the cycle analyst version 3.14. It's gonna take you to a main screen display here. It just shows you the voltage of your battery, how much power you're using, how fast you're going, and a bunch of different stats. But we're looking at the settings menu here because we want to unlimit three settings in order to get full power out of this system. To enter the settings menu, you're gonna to wanna to press and hold the left button here until it says entering setup. Then you'll see a bunch of different folders that pop up. You're not gonna worry about too much because everything's gonna be preset from the factory, but we're looking at three settings in order to get this done. So it's unlimited for full power. Tap the right button to scroll over a folder and we are looking for speed limits. So you can just keep tapping the right button until you see speed limits just like that. Now that you're at speed limits, you'll see it's set for 20 miles an hour, which is how they'll send it from the factory to limit that or change that limitation, I mean, you're gonna press and hold the right button until it says okay, then you can let go and you'll see slim max speed. Press and hold the right button one more time to highlight the first number here. So you'll see that is highlighted and press and hold the right button one more time to get over to that 20. So you'll see 20 miles an hour is where it's set. Normally I just put that all the way up to like 90 or something unrealistic so the bike never gets hit with this limiter. So in this case, it's 90. I got it up in digits by tapping this button once this was highlighted. And then I can press and hold this button one more time to go over, press and hold it again. And one last time there. Now you see the speed limit is set to 90 miles an hour, which should not be able to get hit by this system. So it's out of the way altogether. Now that you've set your speed limit to something that's not gonna get hit or whatever else you wanna set it to, you're gonna tap the right button until you get out of this folder. You don't have to worry about any of these other settings because they're all set properly from the factory there. So now that you're out of this folder, you tap the right button one more time and you'll see power limits. That's the next two settings we're gonna to have to worry about and then you're good to go. Power limits is gonna be set to 15 amps and 750 watts from the factory. To change that, you'll press and hold the right button, just like you did with the speed limits. It'll say, okay, you can let go. And the first thing you'll see is max amps. On this system, it's able to push 90 amps. So I'm gonna set it to that. Press and hold the right button to get the first digit highlighted. Tap the right button to go up in digits. And there's 95 press and hold the right button to go to the next digit, tap the left button to go down or the right button to go up. And now we're at 90 amps. Now you can just press and hold the right button. It'll go to the zero over there, press and hold it one more time. Now you're out of the amp limit. So that is unlimited to 90 amps for this 8,000 watt system. The last thing you're gonna have to worry about is the wattage. So tap the right button one more time you'll see max power is 750 watts straight from the factory. Press and hold the right button. It'll say, okay. And again, this is an 8,000 watt system. So I'm gonna limit it to 8,000 watts. So tap the right button a few times. Press and hold the right button to go over just like you did with the other settings and set it to 8,000 watts even. Press and hold the right button, it'll go over again, press and hold it, and you're good to go. So that's 8,000 watts, and that is actually everything you're gonna have to worry about. Now that you've unlimited your system, you wanna save your settings by just tapping the right button a bunch of times. There's a few settings that you'll pass over, nothing you're gonna have to worry about or change because you are done at this point, and you just keep pressing that button until it says leaving setup. Now that you've left the setup, you're good to go. You have full power on your system and you're ready to ride.